What's happening guys? Alex back with you here. You are taking a look through my newly constructed bridge uh, that I had rebuilt to make it a little bit stronger. And this is the new look. So let me go ahead and grab the camera and zoom you out a little bit here so you can take a look at it from a view. It's kind of a, uh, I think a Warren style type of trestle bridge. And I had to use a lot of Technic elements because I used all of those really convenient pieces uh, for these other bridges. I only had 12 of them, and that equates to uh, three bridges. Four of those elements on each. Uh, I have a couple of them here on this bridge, and then that middle bridge there, and of course that uh, train bridge there in the back. So I had to, I looked around on YouTube, looked at some videos, perhaps one of yours, and I came across some bridges that I like the style of, and uh, this is kind of a, uh, a result of my research. So I put this thing together, and I also thought it would be a great idea to show you the building process. So maybe you guys can get some of your own ideas, and maybe even improve upon uh, this design. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, here are all the elements that I use in my particular bridge. I'll show you what they are. Uh, starting over here, I have uh, two by 10 bricks. It doesn't matter the color because these are out of sight. I use these one by eight yellow tiles. There's eight of these and 16 of the one by eight white tiles, 30 of the uh, one by eight black tiles, and uh, six of the one by six plates, black plates. Now these can be eight studs because I have one in there. I ran out of these uh, or, or four, it doesn't really matter. They're just used for stability. Over here, are the uh, of course, these uh, tiles, you will need uh, eight of these. And these Technic beams, I think these are the 11 hold uh, beams and as well as the five hold beams. I have I think 14 of these and 18 of those and of course the, um, the elements that are in the main structure that are most visible are these beams. These uh, 1 by 14 dark bluish gray Technic beams and of course to hold it all together are several of these elements I don't know how many there are. Uh, I maybe 50, 60, 70, who knows. But hopefully you have a lot of those because you will need a lot. So, and this pile of black bricks are just to uh, use underneath the bridge for stability. And uh, I will show you where those all go as well. But there are a mixture of uh, two by fours, uh, one by fours. Um, there should be just four of these and so on. So let's go ahead and get this put together. Okay, uh, at this point, I'll turn this around so you can kind of see what it looks like at the top. We can push this all down, make sure it's all secure. Now, the reason I'm using so many of these black bricks on the sides is uh, because I'm choosing to put the white line on the outside, and that creates a stability issue. Uh, so if I didn't have this, that means that these would be right next to it, like that, these beams, and it'd be a lot stronger. But because I'm putting these white lines in there, I have to use a lot of these bricks to uh, just to simply make it uh, strong. So, looks pretty good, right? So, as a bridge right there, it looks pretty good, but as you can see, it's pretty weak. <laughs> so, um, at this point, uh, the bottom is done for now, and uh, we'll go ahead and create the, uh, the lower stabilizing beams uh, right now. Okay, and at this point, the bottom beams are in. You kind of see it taking some shape. I put in these uh, one by eight black tiles uh, along here for a nice smooth and clean look on either end, act as the barrier. And uh, I put in the, uh, these elements. So what's gonna happen here, we're gonna put these in like this. There we go. And uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, create the two beams that go on the top now. So we'll go to that point. Okay, 
and they are in. You'll notice that uh, they are they go in by one of the loops, and there's always a loop that's completely visible between every single one. Just make sure it's completely level. Now, on its own, this bridge is actually pretty stable. Uh, however, you want to have something running across it uh, to create some stability that way. So that is what's next. So we're going to create some some cross beams, so four cross beams on the top to create that stabilization. So we'll go to that point. Okay, to this point, it's pretty much done, and I actually was done with it when I went through this the first time, but I didn't like uh, how the bottom was a little bit loose. It kind of cracked a little bit too easy in some of these spots. So I created some under beams to go uh, below it to hold it all together so that these didn't follow, uh, fall through because if you put enough pressure on it, it falls through like that. So these under beams is what I'm gonna do next, and that's the last step, and then our bridge will be done. Alrighty, that's it. It is all done. These just hold those uh, places together, kind of to keep with that stability. Um, I just decided to run these beams and just connect it with the um, bubbles instead of the uh, actual uh, Technic connections. So, because I kind of ran out of them. <laughs> so that is underneath um, and the top, and this thing is quite stable now. It's not going to sway at all, and the inside insides are really strong. Okay. I have these boards that just poke out. It just rests on each side of these and should match up pretty well. And I'll probably get some uh, elements on either side of here just to make it so it doesn't slide back and forth there. But uh, this makes it, I like that width with those extra white tiles in there because when you have uh, a lot of vehicles that are both six studs wide, they, uh, they have plenty of space uh, passing them, uh, passing each other on this. So works out pretty darn good and it's pretty darn strong, uh, no problems there, and uh, I'm pretty happy with it. So uh, that's it. Thanks for checking it out, you guys. I'll catch you next time. Bye.